What's going on guys? Victoria Langford here and I am your credit solutionist and you are listening to another episode of the Money Mindset Podcast. This is your corner of the internet where you're going to get bite-sized nuggets of personal and business finance strategies that are going to help you secure your financial future today. Now in this episode, we're going to be talking about debt settlement. This is a two-part series because debt settlement is honestly a vast topic that I could dive into for hours. And you guys, the videos have been blowing up on my YouTube channel for debt settlement. So I know that there is a market and you guys are in need of this game. Did you also know that there's like 68 million Americans that are in debt right now? And with inflation being what it is, that debt and that number of people is probably gonna double in the next five to 10 years, if not more. So you're in a good spot and I'm very happy that you stopped by today. Now, I mentioned my YouTube channel because there's a couple of exciting things going on over at the Solutionist Experience. Like and share and go and subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you haven't. You can also find me by uh, searching the Credit Solutionist as well. Now there's some exciting things going on over there because we have our debt settlement videos that are coming out that you guys are loving as I'm telling you about these debt settlement companies and doing reviews. You guys have been giving me really great feedback so I'm gonna keep those videos coming. We also have a channel membership now. A lot of y'all don't know, but I am a land investor. So that's my spot in my lane in real estate that I'm doing now. And in my membership, I'm sharing with you guys the tips, the avenues that I use to buy real estate for pennies on the dollar. I also tell you how I obtain and how I'm building my current real estate portfolio. Not something I talk about on the internet a whole lot because I'm just the credit lady, but whether you have good or bad credit, It doesn't mean that you can't be an investor in whatever lane you wanna go in. If it's crypto or stocks, it doesn't matter if you have debt, you can do these things. So we talk about that behind the paywall where the people are that really wanna get the game. So join the membership and it's a cost of less than a cup of coffee now. Okay, and it definitely costs less than those scrambled eggs that you had this morning because, I mean, eggs are eight bucks a, a carton now, right? Is that what they call it, a carton? So we know eggs are about eight bucks. Listen, my membership is two ninety nine dollars or four ninety nine, dollars okay? And you get some really cool badges. So support the cause. I'm only able to bring this content because I like coffee. So buy your girl a cup of coffee, join the membership, and get the insider track on what I'm investing in so you can build your personal economy along with me, all right? So yeah, join that, all right? (sighs) Now that I got that off my chest, let's talk about this debt settlement thing. Now, I get a lot of calls over at mycreditcall.com where we do consultations face-to-face. We do it via video call, phone call, however y'all want to do it. But as I'm talking to you guys at mycreditcall.com for these one-on-one personalized consultations where I create a debt payment strategy for you, you guys are almost on the verge of doing debt settlement every single time I talk to y'all. And it scares me. It scares me because I know the ins and outs of debt settlement because I was there, right? I went through all of this stuff and being in collections and not being able to apply for things for seven years of my life. I went through all of that so you guys don't have to, right? So during these calls, you guys are on the brink. You're right, you're just like a day or two away from calling these debt settlement companies and ruining your credit, right? So again, it scares me. (laughs) So I want to explain this process to some of those of you that are thinking about it and haven't yet booked that call with me. All right. So first things first, what exactly is debt settlement? Um, In a nutshell, it's a process where a borrower, which is you, the consumer, you work with your creditors or collection agencies to pay off a portion of your debt for a settled amount instead of paying the full amount that's due. So let's say you have a $5,000 credit card bill with a collection agency, but you can only pay 1,500 of it. You're gonna tell that company, you're gonna pick up the phone and you're gonna call them or you're gonna write a letter, which is best, you should always write a letter, and you're gonna tell them you can only pay 1,500, that's it, that's all, I'm not doing anything else. Deal or no deal. What is typically going to happen is they're either going to counter your offer and try to offer a little bit more for you to pay, or they're going to say, okay, fine, we'll take 1500, call it even, right? That is a debt settlement. So you do not 
owe five thousand dollars anymore you pay that fifteen hundred and you're done now if you talk to me at mycreditcall.com on our consultation i'm going to tell you to offer even less and i'm going to give you game on how to word that letter when you do it hell i'll even write it for you all right <laughs> so hit me up over there all right if you if you want to get into that but that's basically what debt settlement is so it's a way to negotiate with your creditors and come to an agreement for a reduced amount that you're going to pay to settle the debt right so settling the score is essentially what you're doing speaking of scores it's going to kill your score now we're probably going to talk about that a little bit later because i have 10 of the main questions y'all ask me about debt settlement and i'm making this a two-parter because y'all know i love to talk i'm only going to answer five questions you got to tune in to the next episode where we're going to cover the next five which is where we really get to the nitty-gritty so be sure to tune into that okay so today is the first five questions so the first one was what exactly is debt settlement so we got that under control all right so now you might be wondering how does debt settlement actually work <laughs> well it's super simple you can do it yourself like we mentioned or you can work with a debt settlement company like national debt relief you can work with a debt settlement company or you can get yourself a financial advisor to come up with a plan to pay off your debt. They'll look at your debt, they'll look at everything that you owe, and then create a strategy that best works for you, right? And then that's when the negotiation starts. So the debt settlement company or the financial advisor is going to communicate with the creditors or collection agencies on your behalf to negotiate the reduced settlement amount. They do all that and an agreement is reached with one of those companies, you'll make the payments to the debt settlement company and then they are going to take that money and pay your creditors. Now I know on the surface it sounds like that's a good idea, but it's really not because this is something that you could do on your own without having to pay a middleman for it and to be honest it's a better investment to allow a regular person that just has a lot of credit knowledge about this stuff again like me you know the credit solutionist hello that's why that's my name um it's better to talk to somebody that's going to be super honest with you because paying me whatever my fee is for that one hour conversation is gonna be a lot less than you paying thousands of dollars in an origination fee to pay a debt settlement company. And did you know that you can still be sued even if they're working on that stuff for you? I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> so really, what are you paying for here if you pay a company? It just, it doesn't make sense. But I digress. Now, the big question, and this is number three, is debt settlement an actual like good idea? It really depends on your individual circumstances. So for some people, debt settlement can be a really great solution to get out of debt really fast because it, it's really about speed and it's about getting rid of the monkey on your back, so to speak. For some people, debt settlement is a really great solution, but it's important to know that debt settlement can have a negative impact on your credit score. Um, and it's always a good idea to do your research or again, speak with a professional like me before you make any of these decisions. Like there was a guy that I talked to, and uh, if you're listening, what's up, you'll know this is your story, uh, but he's a business owner and he, has, he had really great credit and he was on the verge of signing up with National Debt Relief, which is a company that I loathe, okay? Like they're the bane of my existence. And uh, he was about to do this, you know, but something told him to call me and thank God he booked his call, right? Over at uh, mycreditcall.com. And when he booked the call, we talked and I just said, dude, like you're living the American dream. You just happen to get over your head. Like you don't have to do this. So we put together a plan for him because he had other assets uh, that he didn't realize that he could use in order to pay off those debts instead of settling. Cause see, if he was going to settle, he was really going to ruin a lot of his financial work that he had put in for the last 20 years. He could have very well lost his business if he did the national debt relief uh, debt settlement. So see, these are the reasons that you have to invest in yourself and like <laughs> call somebody and talk about this, like to get your debt issues out loud and like talk about it and, you know, tell somebody what's going on. That could literally change the trajectory of everything that you've done. So like, I'm, I'm very happy for that guy, you know? So... For him, it was a terrible idea 
for you, if you're like 21 years old, it might be a good idea just to just to do it and get it over with. But if you're in your 40s, your 50s, your 30s, and you really have a goal of buying a house, or maybe you want to start a business or get credit of some sort down the road, debt settlement's going to kill any dream that you have. So in my opinion, debt settlement's not a good idea for anybody. So I hope that answers the third question. I say it's really not a good idea. So you need to do your research, okay? Now, the next area that you guys ask me a lot is the cost of debt settlement. And it's like, look, (laughs) think about this. The cost of debt settlement is whatever you're going to pay. So if it's a $500 bill and you want to pay $200, well, debt settlement's going to cost you $200 if you call the creditor or the collection agency directly. That's what it's going to cost you, okay? It could cost you 50 bucks. It could cost you, again, booking a call with me. It could cost you that, and then maybe you end up not paying anything, who knows, you know, uh, but the fee to work with a debt settlement company, that's where you get into the thousands of dollars. Some of them have origination fees upwards of 5000 to $10,000. They just work that balance or that fee into the amount that you pay them back. So not only do you have an interest rate that you have to pay with the debt settlement company for the amount that they're going to settle your debt for, you also have to pay the origination fee. That's jacked up. <laughs> okay. And the reason that it's so messed up is because once your once your bill hits the collection agency, that collection agency paid pennies for your debt. So like if you had a $10,000 collection, that company probably paid 500 bucks for it. Right? So then you have a debt settlement company that's going to negotiate say $5,000 for you to pay. Well, either way, they're all making more money than you are because, again, the collection agency only paid $500 for that $10,000 debt. You're going to pay $5,000, which means that the collection agency is going to pocket $4,500. And then on top of that, the debt settlement company is going to pocket the origination fee plus the interest on that original $10,000 debt. So... If you didn't understand that, that's okay. Rewind this back. But what I want you to understand is you are going to be the loser in this situation. So it's really not very advantageous for you as a consumer to hire a debt settlement company when you can do all this yourself and save a ton of money over time. The other reason it's good to do it for for yourself, and we're talking about the cost here, this all ties into the cost. Uh, The reason that it's a good idea for you to do it yourself is because the fee is going to be cheaper. The other thing is that when you work with the debt settlement company, they go into an agreement with you where they stretch out your payments for years. Like they can charge you up to five years if they want to versus you just calling yourself to the company and paying it in like two months and being done with it. So the cost is cheapest when you do it yourself. It's more expensive when you involve more parties. So Uh, Like I said, they charge a percentage of the total debt that you owe. So you're going to pay a lot of money in fees. You know, they're they're not really able to help you without getting a lot of money in return. They have to make a profit, you know, and collections and debt debt, um, adjacent kinds of industries and services they the people in those industries tend to make a lot of money because once you get into like a past due situation where you really can't make ends meet they know you're desperate so they know that they can make a ton of money off of you but the truth is once you can't pay a bill the money is as good as gone because the original uh, creditor already wrote it off so it's essentially just money that they're creating out of nothing the money you pay is is a bill created out of nothing I know, sounds crazy, right? So let's go on to question number five. Number five, and then we're gonna cut this one off uh, because we're gonna talk about the next five on the next episode, okay? So finally, you might be wondering, how long does debt settlement take? Well, I kind of already told you that <laughs> a second ago, but the answer truly does vary. It, it depends on your situation and what your income looks like, right? What are your finances? What can you afford to pay? So it can take anywhere from six months, two years to five years. Like I've seen some settlement companies have agreements up to 60 months. 
So it can take a very long time to, you know, settle in that program. And for them, a lot of times they want to stretch it out a little bit longer because the debt settlement company is making interest off of you. That That's interest income, you know, credit card companies, debt, you know, settlement companies, debt consolidation, personal loans, they love to give you long um, contracts, you know, long, long um timeframes to pay back because that's that's more money in their pocket, so to speak, you know? So if you're gonna do debt settlement, I would say try to make it as short as you possibly can. You know, that that's what you wanna do. So the length is just dependent upon your ability to pay back, okay? So that's really it, you guys. And um, oh, I want you guys to go over and join us on the Facebook group. So that's a free group and you can jump in there with people all across the country, right? And we're talking about debt settlement in there too. I'm keeping up with you guys. I wanna know what's going on in your credit journey. If you have questions, you know, that's a place where you're gonna get me directly and you're gonna get other people that know what's going on. Uh, another credit professional may be in there if you have a question, you know, and it could just be one simple thing that you wanna know. Somebody in there can help you, you know, versus having to call and make and book an hour long conversation consultation with me that you may not have to do that if you go over to the Facebook group, but join us. It's free. You know, it's free right now. It might not always be that way, you know, but, um, I want to create, you know, a, a community for you guys where you can find me on YouTube. That's where most of you have found me and, you know, branch out to the podcast, join the Patreon, you know, join the Facebook group. Like we're out here everywhere. So much so that I want it to be that you guys have no reason to not get your personal economy squared away. Like everybody listening to this podcast right now, if there's a goal that you have, you should be able to achieve it this time by this time next year, right? Because you're going to take the strategies that we've given you on the Money Mindset Podcast, the Solutionist Experience YouTube channel, Um the Facebook group, you know, TikTok, Instagram, you're going to go to all of those platforms and you're going to, you know, put all that information and that knowledge together and then you're going to implement, right? I even have my small business course coming out very soon. I'm working on my very last segment of it and then I'm pushing it out to the market, you guys. So this is the time right now. It's tax season, you know, and uh, we're going to talk about debt settlement and taxes in the next um podcast as well because y'all are going to be shocked at what happens there uh, with your taxes with with debt settlement it's not so good but we're at a point now when you get that refund you need to put it into investing in yourself so again I love coffee buy solutionist a coffee all right join the solutionist experience membership or you can send me a cash app I love money guys I'm a woman I love money dollar sign, the credit solutionist. That is the cash app. So continue to subscribe, like the podcast, share this with someone that you think might find it beneficial, and be sure to tune in to the second installment of this debt settlement series, okay? We're going to talk about the next and final five questions that you all want to know about debt settlement. Again, Talk with me directly over at mycreditcall.com and start your debt <laughs> solution journey today, all right? So I will see you guys on the next Money Mindset Podcast. Thanks again for tuning in. Credit Solutionist, out.